Hey guys, welcome to a new video of CSAT with Jason. So in this video, we'll be talking about the concept clock. Okay. And when it's when it comes to clock, many students feel that it is actually a very difficult subject. So in this video, I'll be teaching you the concepts about clock and we'll, we'll also be looking into uh, different tricks when it comes to clock. Okay. So let us firstly find out the angle covered by different hands of the clock. So for that, we need to know what are the different hands of a clock, right? So you have a hour hand, you have a minute hand, and you will also have a second hand. So when it is 3 o'clock, let's say it's 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. So you have the hour hand pointing towards 3, which represents the hours. And you have the minute hand, which rep uh, points towards 12, right? So we, this represents the minute. So uh, if a minute hand is pointing towards 12, it means that it is 0 minutes, right? So it is 3 o'clock now. Now after one hour, the hour hand will uh, will be pointing towards 4 because it became 4 o'clock. Again after one hour, it became 5 o'clock and the hour hand will be pointing towards 5. In this way, after 12 hours, okay, after 12 hours, the hour hand will reach again at 3 o'clock. So in 12 hours, okay, when it comes to hour hand, in 12 hours, hour hand completes one rotation, okay. So one Rotation means this is 360 degree because a full circle a covering a full circle means covering 360 degrees, right? So in 12 hours the hour hand covers 360 degree. So in one hour The hour hand covers 360 divided by 12 which is equal to 30 degree So in one hour our hand covers 30 degree and one hour means 60 minutes, right? So in 60 minutes the hour hand covers 30 degree that means in one minute, the hour hand covers 30 divided by 60, which is equal to 0.5 degree. So in every one minute, your hour hand will cover 0.5 degree. Okay. Now let's see what happens to the minute hand. So minute hand, now it's pointing at 12, right? So after one hour, after one hour, the hour hand will be pointing towards 4. And the minute hand will come back and it will be pointing towards 12 again, right? So in one hour, the minute hand completes one rotation. That means in one hour, it completes 360 degree. Okay, one hour means 60 minutes. So in 60 minutes, the minute hand completes 360 degree, which means that in one minute, the minute hand covers 360 divided by 60, which is equal to 6 degrees. So you need to learn this, okay? So now let us see what happens to the second hand and you know that in every one minute the second hand completes one rotation right so in one minute itself the second hand will complete one rotation that means it completes 360 degree okay so that means in six, one minute means 60 seconds so in 60 second the second hand completes 360 degree so in one second the second hand completes 360 divided by 60 which is equal to 6 degrees so this thing you need to Remember, so we have learned that a hour hand in one minute will complete 0.5 degree. Okay, a minute hand in one minute complete 6 degree and a second hand in one second it completes 6 degree. So you need to remember these things in order to uh, do some questions. Okay, so now let us look into a question so that you will understand this concept very well. A clock started at noon and by 10 minutes past 4, the hour hand turned through how much degree? We know that our hand in 1 minute, it turns through 0.5 degree. So we need to find out the total minutes that has completed from 12 p.m. Uh, which is noon to 4.10. Okay. So initially it was 12 p.m. That means the hour hand and minute hand is like this. Now it became, now it became 4.10. That means our hand is here and minute hand is here. Initial position was this. So we need to find this angle. That is the angle turned by the hover hand. This is the hover hand, right? So angle turned by the hover hand. So what is the minutes that has completed till 410? We know that 410 means 4 hours has passed and 10 minutes has passed. So 4 hours means 4 hours means 4 into 60 minutes, which is equal to 240 minutes. So total minutes will be 240 plus this 10 minutes so from 12 pm to 4 10 250 minutes will be completed we know that for one minute 
the hover hand tra uh, travels 0.5 degree that means for 250 minutes the hover hand uh, turns through 250 into 0 0.5 that means half of 250 right so that is 125 degree so this is how you need to use the trick use the concept that in these type of questions okay and this concept can also be used in, in different kind of questions where you need to find out the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand so we'll be moving on to those as well okay so now let us see the angle formed between the hands of the clock so so far we have learned how to find out the angle turned by either hour hand or minute hand something like that so now we need to find the difference or the angle between the between the hands of the clock that is the angle formed between hour hand and minute hand so let us take an example let's say it's 6 30 and we need to find the angle between hour hand and minute hand at 6 30 so 6 30 means the hour hand will be in between 6 and 7 it will be something like this and the minute hand will be pointing towards 6 so it will be something like this at 6 30 so we need to find out this angle that is the angle between our hand and the minute hand so for that i will tell you how to solve this problem using the concept that we have learned so far and i will be also giving you a trick in order to find out this easily so here first let us see let us assume that the initial position of our hand and minute hand is like this that is it is at 12 pm or it started the clock started at noon that means the initial position is like this so using the concept that we have learned so far we can find out this angle that is the angle turned by the hour hand when it reaches 630 we can also find this angle which is the angle turned by the minute hand when it reaches 630 right so if we take the difference between these two angles, we will get this small angle which is the angle between the hands of the clock so this is how we'll be going to this is how we'll be doing the problem okay so 630 means there is 6 hours 6 hours means 6 into 60 minutes plus there is 30 minutes so total there is 390 minutes from 12 o'clock the clock has uh, completed 390 minutes so we know that a hour hand in one minute it turns through 0.5 degree so in 390 minutes it turns through 390 into 0.5 degree so which will comes 195 degree so we got that this angle this angle is 195 degree so now we need to find out how much the minute hand traveled in 390 minutes so when it comes to minute hand we know that in every hour the minute hand completes 360, uh, 360 degree right it will complete complete one rotation so it is 630 now that means from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock it completes one rotation that means it it completes like this some from two, 1 to 2 also it completes like this then 2 to 3 also it will complete like this then till 4 it will complete like this right i mean till 6 it will complete like this so at 6 o'clock the the hour hand sorry the minute hand will be like this at 6 o'clock now we need to find out the where uh, the angle traveled by the minute hand when it reaches 6 30 so 6 o'clock the position is like this so 6 30 it travels through 30 minutes so we know that in one minute a uh, minute hand travels 6 degree or it turns through 6 degree so in 30 minutes it turns through 30 into 60 which is equal to 180 degree so we got that this is this is 180 degree so when it comes to minute hand you only need to take this 30 no need to take this 6 because six in each of the hour the minute hands completes 360 degree rotation okay so you just need to take this minutes so we are only taking 30 minutes so 30 into 6 is 180 degree that means the minute hand traveled 180 degrees so now we can find the angle that is the angle between this one it will be 195 minus 180 so that is 15 degrees so at 630 the angle formed between the hands of the clock will be 15 degrees so this is how you can solve the problem using the concept now i will also tell you a trick in order to find this out easily okay so we'll move on to the trick now so in order to learn the trick you need to uh, study or by heart a formula that is 60 into hour minus 11 into minutes divided by 2 so at 6 30 the hour is 6 and minute is 30 just uh, apply this here that is 60 into hour is 6 minus 11 into minute is 30 divided by 2 60 into 60 is 360 11 into 30 is 330 
by 2 that means 30 by 2 you will get 15 degrees so we got 15 degree using both the method that is using concept also we got 15 degree and using the trick for that you need to by heart this formula so now let us see uh, two more examples for you to understand this concept very well so let us take an example 10 10 okay it is uh, 10 minutes past 10 so we need to find out the angle between the hands of the clock at 10 minutes past 10 okay so let us use the trick we know that it is 60 into hour minus 11 into minute divided by 2 so here hour is 10 and minute is also 10 so you got 60 into 10 minus 11 into 10 divided by 2 so that is 600 minus 110 divided by 2 so 600 minus 110 is 490 so 490 divided by 2 you got 245 degree okay so you got 245 degree actually this 245 means this angle so this is 245 degree okay so that is actually this equation has derived from the concept itself and we know that how we will do this in the con the in the method in using the concept so this is the time at 12 o'clock so the hour hand traversed through this much degree right and minute hand traversed to this much degree so if you take the difference you get this one which is 245 degree so you will get 245 degree from the equation but sometimes in the options you won't be getting 245 degree you will be given this angle okay you will be given this angle because that angle is also actually between the hour hand and minute hand so in order to find that angle you should actually subtract 245 from 360 degree so if you subtract 245 from 360 degree you will get you will get 115 degree so this is actually 115 degree so in options sometimes you will be getting 115 degree most of the options you will be you will be getting an angle less than 180 degree so if you get an angle greater than 180 degree you should subtract it from 360 degree in order to get this angle so this you need to remember okay so now let us take one more example let's say 740 so we will uh, apply our trick so that is 60 into hour minus 11 into minute divided by 2 so that is 60 into 7 minus 11 into 40 divided by 2 so 60 into 7 is 420 11 into 40 is 440 divided by 2 so 420 minus 440 is minus 20 divided by 2 so you get you got minus 10 degree so that means you got a negative degree so let us see why you are getting negative here okay so what we are actually finding using this trick i already told that it is based on the concept this trick is based on the concept so here you are minus subtracting the uh, angle traversed by the minute hand from the angle traversed by the hour hand so here angle traversed by the hour hand is this much okay but the angle traversed by the minute hand is more than the hour hand so if you are subtracting hour hand minus minute hand then you will get a negative sign so that's why you are getting negative sign so even if you are getting negative sign just ignore it and take it as 10 degree because this will be 10 degree okay so this is how you need to find out the angle between the hands of the clock so we have done some examples i hope that uh, you understood how you need to do it so let us move on to the next concept so so far we found out the angle when the time is given you will be given a time and you will be asked to find out the angle between minute hand and hour hand so that's what we have found so far now we need to tackle the questions where the angle will be given and you will be asked to find out the time okay so here the questions will come like this between 1 pm and 2 pm when will the hour hand and minute hand makes an angle 30 degree between them or like between 6 pm and 7 pm when will the hour hand and minute hand makes an angle 180 degree between them so in every questions from this area you will be given a time period that means you will be asked uh, you the questions will be uh, between 1 pm and 2 pm or like between 6 pm and 7 pm so on so why this is because of the fact that between 1 pm and 2 pm there will be a lot of angles the hour hand and minutes hand make a lot of angles there will be 30 degree there will be 60 degree there will be 70 degree and so on all the angles will come and between 2 pm and 3 pm same angles will come again between 3 pm and 4 pm all the angles will come again so in between 1 uh, 1 pm and 2 pm that is in between all the time periods 
you will be getting all the angles so a time period will be given in the question itself so within that time period you need to find out the answer okay so let us take an example in order for you to understand this concept better so let's say between 1 pm and 2 pm when will the minute hand and hour hand makes an angle 20 degree between them so between 1 pm and 2 pm we need to find out when 20 degrees being made between our hand and minute hand okay so we know that this is 1 pm the minute hand will be like this and our hand will be like this this angle at 1 pm will be 30 degree at 1 pm the angle between minute hand and our hand will be 30 degrees and how i got this we already studied in the first part of this lecture that uh, in one hour the our hand makes 30 degree our hand traverses 30 degree in one hour so from 12 to 1 our hand completes one uh, uh, i mean our hand completes one hour so in one hour it travels 30 degree so that's why i write 30 degree so at 2 o'clock this will become 60 degree at 3 o'clock this will become 90 degree and so on so this is going like this so at 1 pm this will be 30 degree so here what you need to understand is that the minute hand is like this now so when uh, from 1 pm to 2 pm the minute hand started moving in this direction so now this is now this is 30 degree so after some time what will happen is minute hand will reach like this like right minute hand will reach like this and this angle might become this angle might become 20 degree and again the minute hand is moving like this and after time sometimes minute hand crosses this hover hand and it became like this and again in this direction there could be 20 degree so in both direction that is towards the left of uh, our hand you will get a 20 degree towards the right of our hand at different time you will also get a 20 degree right so 20 degree will come at two times between 1 pm and 2 pm so you will be getting two answers if you are going to solve this problem okay so there is a formula to solve this problem that is 2 by 11 into a1 plus or minus a2 and here a1 will a1 is smaller hover into 30 here it is between 1 pm and 2 pm that means smaller hour is 1 1 pm okay so that is 1 pm in 1 into 30 then a2 is the given angle here given angle is 20 degrees so a2 will be 20 degree and a1 will be a1 will be 1 into 30 because smaller hour is 1 1 into 30 is 30 so here we will get 2 by 11 into a1 is 30 and a2 is 20 so plus or minus 20 so if you are putting plus you will get one answer if you are putting minus you will get another answer so 2 by 11 into 30 plus 20 is 2 by 11 into 50 and 2 by 11 into 30 minus 20 is 2 by 11 into 10 so you will get 100 by 11 and 20 by 11 so 100 by 11 is 100 by 11 means uh, 9 11 are 99 you will get one as reminder that means if i am writing in fractional form uh, i'm sorry mixed fractional form you will get 9 1 by 11 and 20 by, by 11 you will get as 1 9 by 11 so that means this 9 1 by 11 means at 1 9 1 by 11 and this means at 1 1 9 by 11 you will get 20 degrees so this time so this time will be 1 9 1 by 11 and this time will be 1 sorry in the reverse order so this time will be 1 1 9 by 11 and this time will be 1 9 1 by 11 so you will get two answers here okay so now let us take another example let's see between 1 pm and 2 pm when will the hour hand and minute hand makes 45 degrees between them okay so again here a1 is smaller hour is 1 so 1 into 30 is 30 and a2 is the degree given which is equal to 45 degree so 2 by 11 into 30 plus or minus 45 so you will get 2 by 11 into 30 plus 45 is 75 which is equal to 150 by 11 and you will also get 2 by 11 into 30 minus 45 which is minus 15 that is minus 30 by 11 so this you are getting a negative number so you shouldn't take a negative number if you are getting like that so just cancel it out and you will get 150 by 11 so 150 by 11 is 1 13 7 by 11 right so it is 13 7 by 11 so you are getting at 1 13 7 by 11 you will get 45 degree so here you are getting only one answer i told you that uh, there will be two answers two times 
the angle will come but here you are only getting one answer why you are getting one answer because at 1 pm you know that this is 30 degree and given 45 degrees greater than 30 degree that means to towards the left of the hover hand that is towards this direction you will not get a 45 degree between 1 pm and 2 pm because this is 30 degree that means the maximum you are going to get towards the left of our hand is 30 degree right but in this direction in the other direction you you will get a 45 degree at 113 7 by 11 that's why you are getting only one answer so for example again let's say it is 2 pm okay so this is 60 degree and if you are asked to find out when in between 2 pm and 3 pm when will the hour hand and minute hand makes an angle 70 degree and we know that 70 degree is greater than 60 degree so in this direction there won't be any 70 degree only 70 will degree will come in this direction so you will get only one answer so we'll be doing uh, some more problems for you to understand this concept better okay so now let us see between 1 pm and 2 pm when will hour hand and minute hand coincides so what does coincide mean coincide means when will they meet that means hour hand and minute hand meets so let's say it meets somewhere here okay so minute hand will be like this and hour hand will be like this they will meet somewhere between 1 pm and 2 pm right so here the angle formed between them will be zero degree so just take angle as zero degree and find out the answer so we will get 2 by 11 into a1 a1 here is again 30 plus or minus angle is zero so even if you are getting taking plus and minus 30 plus zero is 30 and 30 minus zero is also 30 so you will get only one answer here because between 1 pm and 2 pm coincide happens only one time that is between any hours let's say between 2 pm and 3 pm or 3 pm and 4 pm or 4 pm and 5 pm in between every of any of these hours the the number of times coincide happens that means the minute hand and hour hand means will only be one time okay other angles can come more than one time it can, could be two times or it could be one time so here you will get 60 by 11 so 60 by 11 means 5 11s are 55 you are getting 5 as reminder so it will come quotient 5 then reminder 5 5 5 by 11 so at 1 5 5 by 11 coincide happens okay so now let us see between 1 pm and 2 pm when does hour hand and minute hand makes a straight line so when they will make a straight line that means uh, hour hand will be something like this and minute hand will be something like this okay so they form a straight line straight line means the angle made between them is 180 degree so just take angle as 180 degree here a1 is again 30 because smaller hour is 1 1 into 30 is 30 and a2 is 180 okay so here 2 by 11 into 30 plus or minus 180 so you will get 2 by 11 into 210 if you are taking plus and you will get 2 by 11 into minus 150 if you are taking minus so i told you that if negative is coming don't take it so cancel this out and you will get only one answer that means between 1 pm and 2 pm the how uh, hand and minute, minute hand makes 180 degree or they make a straight line only one time that means between any of the hour given the uh, coincide happens and the straight line happens only one time all the other angles can happen one time or two time okay so this you need to keep in mind okay now we will look into one more example okay so let us see when between 7 pm and 8 pm the minute hand and hour hand makes a straight line that means they make 180 degree so again here a1 is equal to smaller angle is 7 7 into 30 you will get 210 here a2 is equal to 180 because the degree is 180 they are forming a straight line that means it's 180 right so 2 by 11 into a1 plus or my mi minus a2 that means 200 and plus or minus 180 right so you are getting if you are taking plus you will get 2, 2 by 11 into 210 plus 180 that means you will get 390 and if you are taking minus you will get 210 mi minus 180 that means 30 that is 2 by 11 into 30 so if you are doing this one 2 by 11 into uh, 390 you will get what you will get you will get 70 10 by 11 and if you are doing this one you will get 5 5 by 11 
So here I told you that between any of the times, any of the given time that is between 7 and 8 p.m. There will be only one time when the straight line happens, but you got two answers here. So why you are getting two answers? Here 70 10 by 11 is greater than 60. You know that between two hours, between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. or between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. there is only 60 minutes. Here you are getting a number which is greater than 60. That means this is wrong. So don't take if it's greater than 60. So 5 5 by 11 is the answer. That means at 7 5 5 by 11 the hour hand and minute hand makes a straight line. So this is the answer. Only one answer will come. Okay. So this is how you need to tackle uh, or find out the time from the angle given. So now let us look into some extra things. Okay. So let us consider this question. How many times minute hand hand hour hand coincide in a day? And I already told you that in, in each hour, the, the coincide happens one time, right? Between 1 and 2, there is one coincide. Between 2 and 3, again, there is one coincide. Between 3 and 4, again, there is one coincide. So you know that in a day, there is 24 hours, right? So you will be having a tendency to answer it as 24. That you might say that there are 24 coincide happening in a day because in each hour, there is one coincide, right? But the answer here is 22. So let's see why 22 comes. So let's take 12 hours, okay? Because in 12 hours, the clock is completing one rotation. So in 12 hours, let us say, first is 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., the coincide happens at 12. If you saw, uh, if you um, using this equation that is 2 by 11 into A1 plus or minus A2, you will get answer as 12 itself. Because at 12 p.m., so this is a clock, this is 12, Minute hand is like this and our hand is also like this. So there is a coincide, right? So to 12 to 1, you will get 12 as answer. And 1 to 2, you will get 1, 5 something. That is, uh, there is one coincide. From 2 to 3 also, there is one coincide. Okay. From 3 to 4, there is one coincide and so on. And from 11 to 12 also, you will get 12 itself. Okay. So after doing all this 4 to 5, 5 to 6, etc., you will finally reach 11 to 12. And you will get 12 itself as the answer. That means 12 is repeating. So you don't need to count it two times. So in 12 hours, there is 11 coincide happening. Okay. And then in the next 12 hours also, there is again 11 coincide. So there is total 22 coincides are happening. Okay. That's why 22 is coming. So similarly, if you ask this question, how many times minute hand and hour hand forms a straight line in a day? Here also, I told you that in each hour there will be one straight line forming. So there is 24 hours. Again, you will be having a tendency to answer it as 24. But here also the answer is 22. So this is because, you know, at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, what will happen? The hour hand will be like this and minute hand will be like this. Okay, so they are forming 180 degree or they are forming a straight line. So between 5 and 6, if you are considering 5 and 6 as the hours, between 5 and 6, you will get 6 as the answer. That means you will get 6. It is 6 o'clock at which they are forming a straight line. Again, if you are considering 6 to 7 also, you will get 6 as the answer. So 6 is coming 2 times. So you, you shouldn't double count it. So in 12 hours, as before, you will get 11 times where uh, this minute hand and hour hand are making a straight line. Again, in the next 12 hours, you will get 11. So answer will be total 22. Okay. Now just consider this statement. In a clock, minute hand crosses hour hand every 65 5 by 11 minutes or this is same as 720 by 11 minutes. So let us see what we mean, we mean by this. Okay. So let us consider a clock. So this is uh, 12. Okay. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So let's say this is 12 p.m. now. So at 12 p.m. the coincide happens because uh, at 12 p.m. hour hand and minute hand is pointing towards 12, right? So there is a coincide. Now between 1 and 2, if you use the formula 2 by 11 into A1 plus A2, you will get the coincide happens at 1, 0, 5, 5 by 11. Okay, so at 12 p.m. coincide happens and then next coincide happens at 1, 5, 5 by 11. So how many minutes have passed from 12? It is 65 5 by 11. Okay. So after 65 5 by 11, the coincide is happening. Actually, this is same as 720 by 11. If you write in the 
fractional form okay so uh, then next coincide happens again after 720 by 11 minutes so in a clock actually minute hand and hour hand coincides every 65 5 by 11 minutes so you need to remember this because this can be used in some uh, questions and i will show you one of the question where this concept can be used so now let's see what the concept of mirror image is so let's say this you place this clock near to a mirror so in let's say in this clock it is 3 pm and you are looking at the mirror okay this clock is near to a mirror and you are looking at the mirror what happens is that this will become a mirror image and the clock will show like this that means in the mirror image you will see nine o'clock so this uh, type of questions can come that a, a time will be given and you have said that that clock is um, placed in right next to a mirror and what will be the time in the mirror okay so there is a easy trick for this just minus the time from 1160 okay 1160 then you will get the answer i will show you some examples for example in this example we have considered three o'clock right so it's let's say it's 3 pm and you are placing that clock right next to a mirror and you are asked to find out what the time it will be shown in the mirror then what you need to do is just subtract 3 from 1160 so here hour is 3 here hour is 11 so just subtract 3 from 11 you will get 8 okay then subtract 0 from 60 you will get 60 so 8 60 means 8 o'clock then 60 minutes that is actually 9 o'clock right 8 minutes uh, sorry 8 hours and 60 minutes means 9 o'clock so your answer is 9 o'clock and for example let's say you are given a clock okay and the clock is showing the time 10 10 and you place it right next to a mirror and you want to find out what is the time it will be shown in the mirror just subtract it from 11 60 so if you subtract 10 from 11 you will get 1 if you subtract 10 from 60 you will get 150 so the time shown in the mirror will be 150 okay so this is how you need to solve it so now let us see the concept of loss and gain gain of time so let us take an example there is a clock and that clock gains five minute every one hour okay so let's say we have a normal clock which is showing the correct time and we have our clock which is given here in the example so let us say that we made our clock correct or we made the clock correct at 10 o'clock so the correct time now is 10 o'clock and our clock is showing the correct time now because we are we made it to the correct time then after one hour it becomes 11 o'clock in the normal clock because it's showing the correct time but in our clock what happens is that in one hour it gains five minutes so it becomes 11 5 again one more hour passed it became 12 o'clock in the normal clock but in our clock it will gain five more minutes so it will become 12 10 so here our clock became 12 10 when the normal time is 12 okay so that means the clock is going fast so this is the concept of gaining of time let's say our clock lost okay our clock loses five minute every one hour and i made the clock correct at 10 a.m okay so in a normal clock which is showing the correct time it is 10 a.m now and we made the clock correct at this time so our clock is also showing 10 but after one more hour it becomes 11 in the normal clock because because it's showing the correct time but our clock loses five minutes and it will only be showing 10 55 because it loses one, uh, five minutes okay then let's say one more hour has passed it became 12 o'clock but our clock will lose five more minutes and it will only be 11 50 in our clock so our clock here is going slow so this is the concept of uh, losing of time so this gaining and losing of time concept can be used in some questions so we'll be doing a uh, question based on that as well okay so let's solve some questions now so this is a question from upsc 2022 there is two statement given statement one says that between 3 16 pm and 3 17 pm both hour hand and minute hand coincides and statements 2 says that between 4 58 pm and 4 59 pm both minute hand and second hand coincides so let us take statement 1 okay so we need to find between 3 pm and 4 pm when will the minute hand and hour hand coincide that means when will they make 0 degree so here we have the equation 2 by 11 into a1 plus or minus a2 okay and a1 is equal to 30 into smaller hour here smaller hour is 3 
so 30 into 390 and a2 is 0 because degree is 0 so we will get 2 by 11 into a1 is 90 plus or minus 0 that means 180 by 11 so if you divide 180 by 11 you will get 111 sir 11 76 66 4 so that means this is 16 4 by 11 that means at 3 16 4 by 11 minute hand and our hand coincides 316 4 by 11 is actually between 316 and 317 right so this is correct now if you take statement 2 it says that between 458 and 459 pm both minute hand and second hand coincide we know that second hand completes one rotation in every minute okay so in every minute second hand completes a rotation that means in every minute second hand will cross minute hand okay so if if you are given any time sec, any minute second hand will um, cross minute hand okay so here between 458 and 459 pm also minute hand will be crossed by the second hand so this is also correct so answer is option c both so now let us take another question this is from upsc 2021 at which one of the following times do have a hand and minute hand of the clock make an angle 180 degree with each other so we need to find when will they make 180 degree with each other so our equation is 2 by 11 into a1 plus or minus a2 okay here the if you see the options it is from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock right so we need to find between 7 and 8 when they will make a make 180 degree so smaller hover is 7 so a1 is equal to 30 into 7 which is equal to 210 and a2 is equal to 180 so we will get 2 by 11 into 210 plus or minus 180 okay so we will get 200 2 by 11 into 210 minus 180 you will get 30 and plus 180 you will get 2 by 11 into 390 so here 390 is greater i mean 390 into 2 you will get 780 by 11 780 by 11 you will get an answer greater than 70 minutes okay so that is not correct if you are getting an answer greater than 60 that is not correct so you don't need to take this so just take this one 2 into 30 is 60 so 60 by 11 so 60 by 11 is 5 11s are 55 you will get 5 as remainder that means this will come 5 5 by 11 okay 5 5 by 11 that means at 7 5 5 by 11 the minute hand and our hand makes 180 degree that means it is between 7 5 and 7 10 option d is the correct answer so let us see this question in a clock minute hand crosses the hour hand exactly after every 62 minutes of clock time what is the time gained or lost by the clock in one day so here what we need to do is that in a normal clock if the clock is showing the correct time we know that our hand crosses the minute hand every 720 by 11 minutes right we have already uh, saw how we got this uh, in in our lecture okay so in a normal clock seven it is uh, crossing in 720 by 11 minutes here it is crossing in 62 minutes so 720 by 11 minutes in a normal clock corresponds to 62 minutes in in the clock given in the question so we need to see how much time it will gain or lose in one day so one day means 24 hours or it is equal to 24 into 60 minutes so 24 into 60 is 1440 minutes so in one day there is 1440 minutes will be there okay so so in a normal clock 720 by 11 minutes corresponds to 62 minutes in the clock given so we need to find 1440 in normal clock corresponds to what minutes in the clock given so just cross multiply like this so you will get 720 by 11 into x is equal to 62 into 1440 so you will get x is equal to 62 into 1440 divided by 720 into 11 okay so here you can cancel like this 72 into 2 is 144 so you will get x is equal to 62 into 22 okay 62 into 22 if you do what you will get 4 12 1 3 6 4 so what we got is that 1 4 4 0 minutes in a normal clock corresponds to 1 3 6 4 minutes in the clock given that means it is losing time because it's actually it should have shown 1 4 4 0 minutes but it is only showing 1 3 6 4 minutes that means it is losing time 
so we can eliminate these two options now we need to just subtract 1364 from 1440 so 1440 minus 1364 you will get 76 so answer is 76 minutes lost so now let us solve one more question a wall clock moves 10 minutes fast every 24 hours okay so it is moving faster 10 minutes in every 24 hours the clock was set to show the right time at 8 a.m on monday so let's see we have a normal clock which is showing the correct time and we have our clock the clock in the question which is actually 10 minutes fast in every 24 hours so it is set to right time at 8 p.m 8 a.m on monday so normal clock is showing 8 a.m on monday our clock will also show 8 a.m right now if it becomes 8 a.m tuesday what happens 24 hours, hours has passed so it will become 10 minutes faster so it is it will be showing 8 10 then again if it's 8 a.m on wednesday our clock will gain 10 more minutes right so it will become 8 20. okay now it is said that when the clock shows time 6 p.m on wednesday when the clock that is our clock is showing 6 p.m on wednesday so this is 8 20 a.m on wednesday then what is the correct time we need to find what is the correct time here okay so here we need to find out how many minutes are between these two times so that is from 8 20 to 6 pm so 8 20 to 6 pm is actually 9 hours and 40 minutes right so 9 hours and 40 minutes means 9 into 60 plus 40 minutes that is 580 minutes are there between 8 20 am and 6 pm there is 580 minutes so we need to find out 580 minutes in our clock corresponds to how many minutes in a normal clock and it is given here that 1440 minutes that means 24 hours corresponds to 1440 minutes so 1440 minutes in normal clock corresponds to 1450 because it's 10 minutes fast so it's gaining 10 more minutes so 1450 minutes in our clock so we need to find what is 580 minutes in our clock corresponds to what minutes in the original clock so we need to find x so 1450 into x if you cross multiply is equal to 1440 into 580 that means x is equal to 1440 into 580 divided by 1450 okay so you will get if you solve this you will get 576 minutes so now what we need to do do is just add 576 minutes to 8 am okay so 576 minutes is actually 9 into 60 plus 36 9 to 60 means 9 hours so 9 hours plus 36 so 8 am plus 9 hours means means 5 pm okay then 36 more minutes that is 536 so answer is option a 536 so guys thank you so much so if you like this video please do subscribe share and support and if you want to join my channel you can join it using the link that i'll be providing in the description box so thank you so much